it is Tuesday morning here at the shop. Uh, yesterday we didn't do any filming. Got kind of tied up in what we were doing and uh, never broke out the camera. So uh, that might be a little bit of a common occurrence, but we'll try to be uh, good about that in the future. So we're working on uh, truck 39. That's at Black Freightliner Columbia from last week. Uh, when we left off, I believe I was buffing that out. We now have that all situated. I didn't bother filming everything because uh, I figure there's only so much buffing that you guys can watch. I know it's hard enough for me to hold a attention span while I'm doing it, so figure just watching is even worse. So, you can tell. Actually, uh, pretty night and day difference. Because I honestly really didn't care. You know, we're just doing this real quick. Naturally, everything uh, buffed out real nice and it actually should be a really sharp truck going down the road at least it'll be clean and all that jazz swapped out the uh, bunk airbags and shocks ended up uh, taking the exhaust down to, for uh, more room to do that we are going to replace this Y pipe new top stacks new mufflers you got this cute little backup light I believe my next step is I'll be adding another one on that side and we'll be converting them to bunk lights. Add some LED uh, backup and uh, spotlights. That should uh, help the drivers. It is, what is this? Um, today is Tuesday, two, Tuesday the 16th. Here we are, beautiful day at the GCC garage. Terrific, more snow, which we can't really complain. Hasn't been that bad. Today. It's snow, we can complain. That's right, well, okay, I agree with you. All right, here we are on this. Columbia. I want to call it a Coronado, but it's a Columbia. I wish it was a Coronado. I wish it was anything but a Columbia. Had a guy come in this weekend, installed two new windshields. Dave finished buffing out the paint meticulously. Uh, Evan has been cleaning the inside. We are currently installing another bunk light in the back. Just two on this one. Keep it simple. Just to make a match symmetrically. We pulled the fridge out, and I also have the fridge out of the Kenworth. Doing the exhaust. New Y-pipe, new mufflers, new elbows. We're going to reuse the top stacks that came off the Kenworth. 
what else we got going on here? I have done, I've changed all the fuel lines, I've changed the power steering lines, <clears throat> excuse me, puberty. <clears throat> Dave made most of the lines up, I installed them. We put a new block heater plug in it, new cord. We put a new ECM harness on it that I've strewn about, but it needs to be loomed up and tied up. Today, while I have some time, I am going to pull the injectors out because this truck had a skip in it when we bought it and we had already purchased six flow match injectors, so we're going to put those in. Um, before I put coolant back in it, before I prime the system and get uh, diesel up in the head again, I just feel like we'll just change the injectors now. It's cheap money. I'm sure they're not all bad, but we'll send them out, have them rebuilt, and have these flow matched. Probably rebuild them as 57s. Um, just easier to do it now before we get too far into everything else. Um, we got new hubs coming for the front, got new wheels and tires. The tires in the back are good, the brakes are good. Uh, we have new wheels for the back, but I don't know that we'll install those before it goes on the road. We're trying to get it done by the end of the week, and I just can't see putting eight, six brand new wheels on and having them get wrecked in this snow for the next month. So we got to clean the mirrors up, make sure the power mirrors work, put some CB antennas on, change the visor lights. Dave's going to paint the front bumper for now. We also have a new bumper. Going to mess with some of the wiring for the headlights, but... Like I said, all the fuel lines have been made. Changed the fuel filter housing. Had a big plastic Davco on it, and I can't stand those. So we changed those. New power steering lines. Um, let's see here. Can you see anything in there? New fuel lines. Tied them all up. What else did we do under there? I feel like we did a bunch of other stuff. I've got new belts for it. We'll pull them off, check all the tensioners and whatnot. So, yes, we are well on our way. Usually I have a system. Um big folding table and a piece of cardboard just to keep everything neat because in in inadvertently no what's the word i want to use without a doubt the phone will ring and i will get pulled off this project before the end of the day and i will have to come back tomorrow so having everything labeled and cataloged will make things much easier so here we go the saga continues i got a plug yes they found a plug <laughs> Very clean. Very clean. 340C Jake's, which you probably oh there you go. Maybe no. All right. So let's wipe this down. Make sure we don't get any more grime in this old grill than we need to. And we will climb underneath and oh, rip my shirt. We will climb underneath and we will pin the motor at top dead so we can start pulling everything apart. Okay.
in. Falls right in. All right, while we're under here, you can see, well, probably not. It's got some oil leaks. A loose oil pan bolt. Probably needs to be helicoiled. I'm gonna tighten up those front. These aren't U-bolts. Oh, they actually are U-bolts on this truck. The ones with the airbags had actual regular bolts that went up into the bottom of the airbag mount. Um, brand new kingpins, brand new brakes. Uh, what else we got under here? Um, brand new starter. Again, brakes and kingpins. Look at that. Got a little zipper in that uh, up your car. This truck had a crossover line on the bottom, so I ended up reusing that. Let me see if I can squeeze under here. Come with me. Do the limbo. Jimbo. Like I said, I changed all the fuel lines under here. Oh, there goes my melon. On top of the trans, did all the fuel lines. Um, yeah, so we're well on our way, which is really not, not too bad. All the U-joints are good. These are Spicer for life U-joints. Um, Everything's nice and tight under here. I'm gonna put new batteries in it. I've been thinking about using a battery box like this if I can get one in my cab over to move the batteries up inside the frame. Um, but all in all, we did new cab airbags and shocks. Where's the shock? Oh, that's shock. Oh, there's Dave. Hello! That is better. 
can kind of think again. Back to being organized. I like that. Uh, in the future, I'm thinking I'll do a uh, toolbox store. Go through this one. This setup over here. So like I said, I'd like to do a toolbox tour in the future. Um, but the big thing is, this channel is just about as much you guys as it is us. I mean, we're the ones that make the videos. You're the ones that watch it. So uh, leave some comments. Let us know what you want to see. I mean, I know personally that like painting and sanding and buffing and doing all that stuff is pretty boring to watch. You guys watch it. So I'll keep doing it, but like if you don't want to see it, let me know. Give us some feedback. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be uh, painting the uh, lower side fairings. The other side was uh, textured plastic. I mean, I guess technically this is uh, textured plastic too. Texture by the driver running down something. So yeah, we're not going to really repair anything like that. We're just going to make it black. Just clean it up. Let's see. Already got this side painted. It's uh, nothing special. It is Wednesday, the 17th. Uh, no update for yesterday. Uh, both Garrett and I lost pretty much the entire day cleaning up uh, the little bit of snow we got the other night. So, no progress made on the Columbia. As far as today goes, I've already got a jump start on things. And, uh, got the uh, Y pipe already put in there. We took that out. And, uh, I got this uh, elbow in place. And I'm currently working on uh, putting a piece of flex pipe in there. So seeing as I already got started today and uh, didn't video right off the rip, we will uh, take you along for the rest of it. This is the fun part. Oh. At 6'3", 240 pounds, squeezing in here is not easy. Got this elbow temporarily up here. Got a piece of flex cut for that. Now, 
just have to measure that section there cut a piece for there and then we will assemble it and because I'm so good at what I do I forgot the tape measure more progress on the eggs hoss you can see why pipes in elbows are in flex pipes in clamps are on everything's just snugged up Got the uh, stack set in place. Got that uh, bracket over there all uh, set up. Just kind of uh, bolt it into place. That's what it looks like here. We're going to throw this side on and then uh, we will get to mounting uh, top stacks. Okay. I am looking awfully filthy not sexy filthy but on the bright side the exhaust is uh, just about wrapped up as you can see the exhaust is all mounted now we uh, cut down the top stacks that we took off the Kenworth threw them on there new mufflers old uh, heat shields it's kind of bummer that we're wrecking this nice freight line with Kenworth parts yeah New day today. So now today is Thursday. Let me fix this. Man, you never really look at yourself until it's too late. Not that I really care. Lay it out in front of you. A pile of misery. New injector cups. Okay, let's put the O-rings on them and get these installed.
Friday morning. I'm uh, just getting going for the day. Uh, Garrett is running some errands, bringing ahead to the machine shop. So I'm gonna keep picking away on the Columbia. Yesterday I was able to get the exhaust taken care of. That's all buttoned up. So that's a big step. Now that that's on, uh, we can uh, get the airlines mounted. We'll, uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace these hood uh, isolators. Just get that plastic off there, get the valve covers back on. And then uh, once that's taken care of, I'm gonna come over here, replace some of these uh, coolant lines and uh, get those taken care of so uh, we don't have any issues moving forward. We got the uh, hoses all made and installed. Kind of looks like the head of Medusa. There are hoses going every which way. So uh, I cannot find the loom I'm looking for. So I'm going to uh, start cutting up pieces of hoses and band aiding them. Right there. Anywhere it makes contact with another hose or the frame or something like that. Fast forward. It is now Friday afternoon. And I have been going steady all day on the Columbia, truck 39. 39. So, when I last left off, I was working on uh, changing coolant lines. We got those all uh, cut, installed, band-aided up, loomed up, some P-clamps to separate them, some frame clamps, looking good. We have a coolant reservoir all uh, installed, new lines running for the radiator, so we're good there. We drain the oil, drop the filters, and uh, now we're working on filling the oil. We have 0.2 
quarts left. And Make sure. just like that, it is full. Cool. 